cohesive energy. The potential energy of a system of two atoms is given by U as a function of capital R equals minus alpha divided by capital R to the fourth power plus beta divided by capital R to the twelfth power. Part A determine the bond length, part B calculate the total amount of energy released when the atoms form a stable bond. So the interatomic force between two atoms uh, we can calculate using the uh, potential energy because the force is conservative. The interatomic force is minus derivative of potential energy with respect to capital R the spacing between atoms. So if I take this derivative minus derivative with respect to capital R of minus alpha divided by R to the fourth power plus beta divided by R to the twelfth power, uh, we will obtain alpha times the derivative of 1 over r to the fourth power with respect to r and minus beta times derivative of 1 over r to the twelfth power. And this will give us minus 4 alpha over r to the fifth power and we will have 12 beta divided by r to the 13th power. Now <clears throat> The interatomic force between two atoms will be zero at the equilibrium distance. So, however, at the equilibrium distance, that is the bond length, capital R zero, the net interatomic force will be zero. That's the definition of equilibrium. We have a zero net force. So we can write the force, which is minus derivative of potential energy with respect to interatomic spacing R evaluated at the equilibrium distance R0 equals to zero. So this will give us, uh, since we have already performed the derivative, minus four alpha over R0 to the fifth power plus 12 beta divided by R0 to the 13th power is equal to zero. So we have 4 alpha divided by r to the fifth r0 to the fifth power equals 12 beta divided by r0 to the 13th power. So uh, since r0 is not 0, we can multiply both sides by r0 to the fifth power and we can isolate r0 to the eighth power. So r0 to the eighth power, that is uh, basically, this becomes 8. r0 to the eighth power is equal to 12 beta divided by 4 alpha. So that's basically equal to 3 beta divided by alpha. So we find that the bond length the equilibrium distance between two atoms will be given by 3 beta divided by alpha to the power 1 over 8. 
Okay, now how much energy will be released when these uh, atoms form a stable bond? That's part B of the problem. The value of the potential energy when R is equal to R0, the equilibrium distance, will be minus alpha divided by R0 to the fourth power plus beta divided by R0 to the twelfth power. So if we substitute our result into this equation, minus alpha over R0 to the fourth power parentheses, we have 1 minus beta divided by alpha R0 to the eighth power. So R0 to the eighth power, we know from part A to be 3 beta divided by alpha. So I have taken this into minus alpha over R0 to the fourth power parentheses. So you can see here minus alpha multiplied with minus beta gives you plus alpha beta, but alphas cancel and you have R0 to the fourth and R0 to the eighth powers giving us R0 to the twelfth power. Okay, so this is going to be minus alpha divided by R0 to the fourth power parentheses. 1 minus, for R0 to the 8th power, we substitute 3 beta over alpha, alphas cancel, we're left with 1 over 3, 1 over 3, so this is basically minus alpha divided by R0 to the 4th power, which is 3 beta over alpha square root, multiplied by 2 thirds, 1 minus 1 over 3. So this is going to be a minus, so let's put everything inside the square root, uh, 4 alpha square divided by 9 times 3 beta over alpha, everything inside the square root. So this gives us u0, the cohesive energy, as minus uh, 4 alpha square. Now uh, we had another alpha here, so this alpha goes upstairs. So this becomes 4 alpha cube divided by 9 times 3, 27 beta square root. So this is our... Uh, cohesive energy that will be the energy because it's negative that will be energy released during bonding so when these atoms form a stable bond uh, this much energy will be released all right so we're talking about cohesive energy the potential energy of a two atom system given by minus alpha divided by r to the fourth power plus beta divided by r to the twelfth power how do we determine the bond length? We find the interatomic force as a function of R. We set it equal to zero at the equilibrium distance. That's the bond length. And that gives us 3 beta over alpha to the power 1 over 8. How do we calculate total am amount of energy released when the atoms form a stable bond? We evaluate the potential energy at the equilibrium distance. The energy that we find should be negative because that will be the energy released during bonding.